a new push from President Biden to encourage more people to get the vaccine, dangling everything from sports tickets to even free beer. President Joe Biden is looking for that extra something that people are really caring about and looking forward to to get Americans incentivized to get that vaccine before 4th of July. And it could help the percentages here at home. 11 Alive's Brittany Klein-Peter live at the state capitol for us today. Brittany, how is Georgia faring in the vaccination race right now? So while the U.S. appears to be roughly on track for our vaccination rate percentage with just over 62.9 percent of adults receiving at least one vaccine dose, according to the CDC, experts say at least 30 states will not meet that percentage statewide, including right here in Georgia. The number of Georgians fully vaccinated only hit 33 percent as of yesterday afternoon, and we've been hovering in the low 30s for weeks now. The last White House cor Coronavirus Task Force report ranked Georgia 48th out of all states when it comes to getting people here vaccinated. At the same time, we're seeing far fewer new COVID cases being reported each day. A viewer reached out to us asking if it's because fewer people are getting tested with more emphasis on vaccinations right now. We turn to microbiologist Dr. Amber Schmidt for perspective. It is important to remember that you can't find disease if you're not looking for it. So obviously, if we aren't testing, we're unlikely to find disease. But if that were the case, we would expect that our PCR test positivity would be increasing and probably above 5%. Um, but it's not. It's been below 5% for about the last three weeks. Um, so that means that we're accurately counting cases. Um, however, of course, that just means that we're accurately counting cases where the testing is happening. Meanwhile, the Biden administration has announced an array of vaccination incentives, including free daycare at area YMCA's and giveaways from companies like Anheuser-Busch. Health experts tell me that even with these incentives, Georgia is still facing different challenges in convincing people to get the shot due to politicalization of the vaccines. The State Department of Health also shared with me that they are working with business communities to get employees incentives. They're also working with CORE to create pop-up vaccine sites around the state.